What's up guys, it's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity Build a Video. Today we're going to be doing a high level contest of mayor's walkthrough for my city. Yes, I played Calm competitively this week again. So before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and explain task assessment and Calm breakdown and then we will get into the choices that I made. This week did take a little bit longer than usual because I had some a lot of factory tasks. When the new pass came out and I saw the pink tree roads, I was like, you know what? I might not even play comp competitively. I might just spend my fortune on the roads. Well, I ended up just buying two of the roads and then uh, saying screw it and went and played comp competitively. So it's kind of a toss up if I'm going to be playing again next week. Before we begin, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. We're almost up to to 3,000 subscribers. You can also join us on Facebook at SimCity Build It, Missy NYT, and on Discord. If you are looking for an active group and you play comp competitively each week and you're a low-level player on the Missy's Building Guide, you can reach out to us and see if you're a right fit for the group. Okay, so task assessment. If an assignment is in your list worth 3,000 points or higher, or, sorry, 2,000 points or higher, that would make it a main assignment. If it's 2000 or if it's below 2000 points, that's a rotatable assignment and then you have the no touch, last resort rotatables and things like that, but for the most part, low, uh, high level players don't really do last resort rotatables. They usually just either touch them or they don't kind of thing. So a premium assignment is an assignment that can be worth up to 3,000 points. Non-premium cannot be worth up to 3,000 points. And then a high premium, it can be worth over 3,000 points. Starting with the streaks assignment, that is a uh, premium assignment, I believe. That one can be worth about, uh, maybe it's a non-premium. I can't remember what the, the max value is on yoga mats. I think I've seen it at 3,000 though. So either way, that's in the streaks, that'll get done. It's at rotatable value. Then we have a premium Tokyo delivery at main task value. Premium main task war, uh, upgrade war card. Now this one is limited. What that means is that when I run out of war cards or keys, I can't do that task anymore. Then I have a premium Finn Simoleons task. I have not opened that HQ yet but I do need to be very careful when I do and how many I open to make sure that I don't completely screw myself with the, re the regional HQ shipping rows assignment. Then I have a non-premium no-touch monster. Given its value, it's at rotatable value, so we just we don't do that uh, when it's that low. Then we have a non-premium sugar at uh, a no-touch value. Usually you try to avoid the sugar unless it's at 17 to 1800 points at minimum. Then we have a non-premium no touch keys, non-premium rotatable popcorn, non-premium no touch repair, premium omega at rotatable value, premium frosty at rotatable value, and then not both non-premium with the design challenge and the regular residential upgrade. So if you notice here, I've got basically three doorways on the lower half of my list. Popcorn, Omega, Frosty, and then the, the top three. So I've got about six doorways to start, right? So the first one that I would pick would be the work card upgrade because it's gonna have to be done anyways and I can just get that done right away. Honestly, just a little tip for you guys, you don't have to go to the war screen to do this assignment if you're you know not wanting it to take an extra minute longer to travel to and from the war screen. You could just click on the monster and then click on the little card symbol on the right hand side. Okay, so now that I got the upgrade war disaster done, I get coins, which is a non-premium no touch. Okay, it's got a high algorithm attached to it, so we, we just wouldn't do it. That being said, one of my available six doorways is now closed off. Is it one of my good doorways? I don't know. It only had one 3K task sitting there. So I really don't know if it's a good doorway. You guys have to pay attention to your good doorways. When you have, when you play high level comm, usually what ends up happening is you have your main assignments, you start your main assignments, and then you rotate in 
your low premiums. And usually those are your good doorways. It's usually when you end up screwing up your scores, when you jump around and you rotate high non-premiums when you have, or yeah, high non-premiums when you have premiums in your list. And that's usually how you block off your doorways. Okay, so I do the delivery to Tokyo. That's a 60 cash assignment. Actually, this one was 40 because I had one flight there. Okay, I get a 3K Paris in return. That is a main assignment. It's premium. Obviously, it's my next choice. Okay, now I get a rare war card attack. We are in war, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I get a 1650 on chems. Now, at this value, we wouldn't do this until value trumps opportunity and streaks are done. So uh, my next one would be the highest premium. And this one is so close to main task value, but either way, it's the highest premium in the list. So that would be the next choice that then gets replaced with a 2K Green Valley. So if you haven't noticed, this doorway has been really good to me so far, right? Now I get a 2K Tokyo delivery to Tokyo. So this will be, what, five Tokyo deliveries that I've done within the first seven assignments. It's looking like Tokyo is going to be one of my repeat tasks. With high-level players, usually what ends up happening is either the main task at the start of the week or the ones down below, the premiums that you're going to be rotating. So, like, let's say mine is an Omega upgrade. Usually those assignments are your repeat tasks. Those are the ones that you want to kind of have loop around, uh, you know, with your good doorway. Now, unfortunately, this particular assignment is not cheap to do. It not only takes inventory, but it costs 20 cash each, each time I have to do it. So I'm really not thrilled that this is probably going to be my repeat task. Then I get an 1800 cargo. Now, this is a non-premium rotatable assignment. So even though it's 1800 points, okay, it doesn't make sense to rotate the cargo just yet. It is my good doorway, and I will need to rotate that. But right now, I need to open up my other possibilities, my, my premium possibilities. So I go ahead and I do the Omega upgrade because that is the order of rotation in which you rotate houses. It starts with Latin and Old Town since they're high premium, then Omega, then Regional, then Airport, and then the non-premiums, okay? So that's the order in which you would rotate. So the one down at the bottom of the list, if you don't remember, is a regional uh, upgrade, I think. So we're going to do the Omega one first. I get a 2,000 feed. Now, I prepped electrical, so I will need to do the feed. Now, with, uh, with factory productions, you want to try to get them done before the first 20 assignments. And in between war if at all possible now usually i move so quickly that you know i'm usually at two of the streaks by the time the first war ends anyways so that being said i have to find some kind of downtime for the feed now right now my doorways are not all blocked off i can still keep going and i still have electrical prepped so i'm going to leave the electrical to sit for the moment Rotate in my premiums and see kind of how this goes and it, if it forces me to take downtime. So there it is. I get a delivery to Tokyo. Again, this will be what? The like seventh time? Seventh Tokyo delivery? Not, yeah, so the third time I got the task, but seven total times I had to pay for it. Okay, then I get cactus coins. Now I've already opened the fin simoleon, so I have to be careful because this will be the second regional HQ I've opened. And I also accidentally opened one like a day and a half before the contest even began. I absolutely hate when that happens. You're not the only one that happens to. So yeah, uh, I'm basically three regional HQs down at the moment. So I've got two left. Okay, so I get Tokyo upgrade. I do that. Then I get a high premium old townhome. Upgrade Frosty. 3K VU. So obviously this is a good doorway. There's my Omega that I rotated in. Okay. Now at this point, if you really look at what's going on here, I'm 17 assignments in. I've got four days, 21 hours remaining. Okay. I have a wood assignment that... 
obviously, I could do if I wanted to clear out the electrical. But why would I take 300 points lower when I could just do the feed now because I'm within the first 20 assignments? And it was basically time for me to go to sleep anyways. So uh, I did the feed and then I get a wave simoleons task. So this will be the fourth regional HQ I have open within the first couple of hours of playing the contest. That being said, I only have one regional HQ left. That's not a good sign because I don't have the regional HQ shipping rows secured yet. So I do the wave simoleons task and I get a 1600 epic, which is a non-premium assignment with a pretty decent algorithm attached to it. Now, all of my premiums have been rotated in, okay? And we're going to pick up where we left off with that good doorway. If you don't remember, cargo was our good doorway. So what is the, high, the highest non-premium assignment in our list with the lowest algorithm, best opportunity, and also our good doorway? That would be the cargo. So I went with cargo. And there's the delivery to Tokyo again. This is like the fifth time I've had this assignment or something. It's ridiculous. Okay, so I do that and I get... What do I see? That repeat task that was there at the start of the week, that Omega. Okay. Now I get a 1460 on Neo Simoleon. So now remember, this is my good doorway, right? Now I have a 1600 Epic that is non-premium and it's honestly just like, ugh. that assignment usually comes in repeatedly. It's expensive. It takes up your inventory. It's just, it's a pain in the butt. Then I have a 1600 Common War Attack no touch coins, no touch monster, no touch sugar, no touch keys, rotatable popcorn, no touch, no touch, no touch. So about the only doorways left is popcorn, common war attack, epic maybe, but honestly at this value, it's, I wouldn't rotate this first out of all of these. And then the 1460 on the simoleons. So I went with the common war attack because I knew war was going to be ending soon anyways. And it's slightly higher. So I get the 2K on the VU. 2K Green Valley. There's the 2K electrical. Now, I'm only 15 assignments before the streaks. It's at 2,000 points. I don't have it prepared. So I would have to take like, what, seven or eight hours downtime. Because I think I had something else that was like 30 minutes left on it or whatever. And then I would be opening up the possibility of this coming back repeatedly. And this is not really my good doorway. So it doesn't really make sense, honestly, for me to just open up this can of worms. It's better to leave this to sit until after the streaks, and then I'll pick up with it after the streaks if need be. That being said, I pick up with my good doorway with the 1460 on the Neo Simoleons. Why? One, it's my good doorway. Two, it has no downtime attached to it. And it's usually not as reoccurring as the epic task, which is gonna eat up my coins and my inventory. So I do that and what happens? I get my repeat task, my Omega task. You guys certain, you know, notice these patterns here? Delivery to Paris, main assignment, 2400. Frosty, that was, what, one of my other repeat tasks, my regional uh, upgrade that I rotated at the beginning. Thin simoleons, that was at the beginning, if you don't remember that. Okay, so now here I'm in a little bit of a dilemma. I've got one regional HQ left that is secured. I have... And I want you guys to pay very close attention to this particular situation because this situation is, these types of situations are when you have to really play your cards right. You need to look at your list as a whole. You need to look at all your regional HQs, everything. So at this time, I still have all those regional HQs open that I opened at the beginning of the week because we're at four days, 17 hours remaining, and I'll, I'm already 30 assignments in. This is why it is so important that you move quickly, okay? 
So I can do this assignment and still leave the one regional HQ that I have closed off, closed off. If I don't do this assignment and I leave it to sit, I block off my really good doorway. I take obscene amounts of downtime for electrical, opening up the possibility for electrical to return. And then all it takes is getting another factory assignment in that spot and then I'm just going to be screwed. So at this point, I don't have a lot of workable doorways. It really doesn't make sense to leave this to sit when it's at 2625 and it's my good doorway. So I kind of have to do it. And given the fact that I do have one regional HQ still secured, if it comes back in the streaks, I should be okay. So I do this assignment. Okay. Then I get a 1400 uh, war attack. Now this is limited time. It can only be done during war. And it's my good doorway. I could have went with Epic for 200 points more, but then what? Think about it like this. I take 200 points less now to open up my good doorway, or I take 200 points more now to open up a reoccurring Epic assignment that's going to just cost me money and in inventory, and then I end up having to rotate the war attack anyways because that's my good doorway. So I end up kind of screwing up two assignments. Might as well just do the, the war attack. There's my repeat task for the Omega. Then I get ice cream for 2,400, VU for 3,000. Now I get a 1,500 oil. Okay, so again, same concept as what happened with, you know, the war attack. Then I get a 3,000 delivery to Tokyo. Again, my repeat task. There's the neo -Simoleans. Well, doesn't make sense to block off this doorway. As you can see, it's, it's being too good to me. Omega. Now I get fin -Simoleans. So now here is, we're at 20 tasks remaining. So here's the thing. I only had a couple of hours left on the uh, regional HQ. Like two or three hours, if I, if I remember correctly. That being said. If I do that fins assignment, being how this is the second or, th well, this is the like, third time it's come in or whatever, it's already costing me like $80 to bring that in. I'm not paying 80 cash to bring in one set of rows for the stupid fish task, okay? That, it, that's not even going to be enough to clear this assignment. That It would end up costing me like 200 cash to clear this assignment. I'm not doing that. So, I'm going to leave it secured. That being said... I could have lowered my score by rotating in the popcorn or whatever uh, to try to secure feed or something like that, but I really haven't had any indication that I'm going to get feed in the main list. So I went ahead and I started the streaks at 20 tasks remaining because two of my good doorways are now blocked off with main assignments. I don't need to drop my average even further. And I do still have plenty of time left to complete them even if I got feed in the streaks, I have enough time to do it, okay? So it's going to be one of those weeks where it's probably going to take me a little while to finish if I get any kind of factory assignments. 1,800 on smoothies, 1,680 on wood, 2,000 London upgrade, 1,590 on plastic, 2,000 VU, and there's the feed, okay? So six hours of downtime. Uh, VU, Paris, what does that say? Oh, Paris for 3,000, Omega for 3,000, 1,800 on neo simoleon coins, 1,680 on tape, 2,400 Old Town. There's feed again. I'm honestly not surprised. So at this point, given that it's come in twice now, I get a little bit more. <laughs> more downtime with suits that was that was fun not uh the latin high premium tokyo again for three thousand. if you don't recall that's my repeat task how many times have i done this now like 10 freaking times yeah took a lot of cash this week to do these stupid assignments then i get a three thousand uh green valley three thousand tokyo upgrade then I had finished the streaks and started off with the highest one in the list. Now at this point, um, hold on, I'm missing 
screenshot. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I had done the, the fin simulants task. Got that done. Then I went with electrical. Got the Omega for 2000. London for 2000. Now here I get textiles for 2320. That's the highest in the list. I've got plenty of time. Two days, 20 something hours remaining. So uh, it only makes sense to just take the downtime for the textiles, even though I just took downtime for electrical. So yeah, it was a nice long downtime. Okay. Then I get a 1000 limestone. That's not a good sign. So I obviously pick up with the highest assignment in my list. Then I get a 1000 BU. Again, not a good sign. It's looking like I'm falling into what you would call a downtime where you rotate a high assignment and you get a low assignment and then it just keeps going, going, going. Usually what ends up happening is this happens during, um, you know, you kind of go up, down, up, down, up, down. Sometimes those up, down moments last longer than others. And sometimes they just last for the whole contest, which is when you're in reverse rotation. Luckily, my, my week's almost over. So even though I'm hitting a downtime, I should be fine. You know, I've got my tickets left, but should be okay. So I go with the next highest in the list, taking more downtime for chemicals. Get a 3,000 Tokyo. And then I get a 1,000 Omega. So going with the next highest in the list, that would be Epic. Okay, now I'm at 203,000. You can see my leaderboard here. Now, at this point, the highest one in my list is sugar. So there's more downtime. Yeah, this was just loads of fun. I could not do the uh, monster assignment for 1,500 because it was 106 cash to bring him in. So I went with the, uh, the coins for 1,275. And then I got a 600 donut. So I went with the 1200 on the popcorn, and that was my final score. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you figure out what your good doorways are and pay attention to the order of rotation. You want to follow the order of rotation, but pay very close attention to which doorways are holding your good repeat tasks. If you rotate your assignments and you do not follow the order of rotation, you're going to screw up your doorways and your repeat tasks are usually just gonna hide behind something and you're not gonna know which doorway it's hiding behind. Or you may not get them back at all. Follow the order of rotation because what'll end up happening is you'll rotate all your main tasks and then when you get to the transition stage where you're supposed to go from you know, premium, usually what ends up happening is people do like cargo for 1800 instead of, uh, you know, when I went and rotated my lower assignments. Or they'll do something like a, a different doorway that's just, you know, like a non premium assignment for 1600 versus a premium for 1000. Even though you're losing, you know, those 600 points in the long run with the, the repeat assignments and everything, it's going to yield a better result than just opening up all kinds of different doorways and and screwing up your entire rotation so pay attention to the order of rotation and your good doorways i highly recommend you guys that you take screenshots of your week even if you're not submitting them for review so that you can look back on your choices and figure out where your good doorways are the only way to really be good at the contest mayors is to notice pattern guess ahead Pay very close attention to whatever it is that you are rotating and when. And honestly, a lot of people, they just they just don't pay attention. They just kind of go with the highest assignment and they just wing it. So good luck to you this week. If you want me to review your choices, you can submit your Google Play or Google Photo album to me on Facebook. Try to message my personal account instead of the SimCity Build It Facebook page account. A lot of people have been messaging me over there and I don't usually get notifications for that so 